Dang. You can call me a professional. That's freaking fire. That is good. I made a mess, but that is good. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me again, Jess and Travis. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna try to make adobo and fried rice by myself. Okay, so what I got, what am I doing? I'm heating this up. I'm gonna get the chicken going because it needs to defrost a little bit. And right now, I'm about to rinse, I'm about to rinse this, uh, this rice off. If you can see, let me see if I can touch it. It is very dirty. Um, let me go ahead and get this rice rinsed real quick. And then, uh, yeah, Jess, Jessa will be proud of me um, that I'm cleaning the rice. Never did that before. Jess is like, you have to clean the rice. Okay, fine, I'll clean the rice then. This is a uh, bas uh, basamate rice. the first knuckle method <laughs> with the water. All right, y'all. So I'm at my first knuckle. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna get this rice going because I feel like the rice takes longer. So traditionally, you guys, I, uh, I bought the easy chicken. Um, and I'm gonna do three chicken breasts for the chicken adobo. I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna get that frying. I'm gonna turn my rice on and then I'm, I'm going to, uh, once that chicken is defrosted, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna get it cooking. I'm gonna use Jess's method where she told me I need to use white vinegar, chicken bouillon, and basically let the chicken's own uh, water uh, cook it with a top on. So. Totally, totally winging this because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going off of memory. I'm gonna put two cubes of chicken bouillon in here. She said to use white vinegar. I don't, I don't know how much. I'm just gonna put that much. Um, okay, let's see. And then I'm gonna cut the. I've got onion. I've got onion and garlic on standby. So. I'm going to cut this up.
my dad had recommended that I try this uh, garlic butter. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna fry this stuff right on my on my back fryer. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch this. Bring this one up here. Keep that on. Wow, this butter looks yummy. I'm gonna grab this little butter. We're gonna get that get that butter going. I feel like I got a lot of things going on here, so let's see what it's gonna be for the onion and garlic. That's my rice, and that's my chicken. So my the idea is to make fried rice. So once it's I'm trying to remember trying to remember when Jessa added the egg. Now nah, I'll figure it out, I'll add it sometime in there. Um, but we're gonna get all this stuff cooking. I guess I really didn't need this extra onion. I didn't, I didn't realize it, 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 it means so much. But I'm gonna get this. said not to put, um, she told me <clears throat> not to put anything uh, in the chicken, no water, just basically let it, let it cook on its own, like in its own juice. I mean, it smells freaking awesome. Oh, those onions, oh my gosh. Ah, okay, so there's my mix. Again, my rice and the chicken that is basically cooking in its own juice with a couple sticks of bullion. Um, that's where I'm going right now. I'm gonna stop the video and then, because you don't wanna watch me just watch the food cooking and then we'll come back. A few moments later. All right, y'all, so got my egg cooking with my garlic and onion. My basmati rice is, I believe it's almost done. And I cut up my chicken and it is soaking. So the, the chicken is soaking in the chicken bouillon, its own juice and sugar and soy sauce. Um, I'm just mixing this up here. This is just about done and so this is going to mix in with my uh, with my rice, and I'm just I'm just frying this. I'm going to fry this egg with everything, um, so it's nice and fried, and uh, we can see. You know, hopefully this turns out pretty good because I need lunch next week. Because Jess is not here to cook me any lunch, so I'm basically starving. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all, so I'm not an expert at rice, but I'm trying to take some rice from the bottom, like this. I'm trying to look and see if it's done. I'm just gonna taste it. I think it's done. It's soft, right? That means it's done, right? Okay, I'm going to 
adjust the camera so you can see what I'm about to do. I'm going to take my rice and I'm going to mix it in here. So this is, this is where it really comes down to, okay? We need to try, we need to try this rice, right? So, if I did okay. Dang. You can call me a professional. That's freaking fire. That is good. I made a mess, but that is good. That's some good fried rice. Mmm, that garlic butter, woo! Oh, me and Jess about to eat good. Me and Jess about to eat good. That, that, that garlic butter is fire. My dad had the right mind when he bought that. All right, let me see if I can, if I'm able to, I at least want to cover the, the rice, so, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to clean a little bit, if you can tell. So, I have made a mess over here, but, the rice is really really good so again the rice has bacon in it bacon onion garlic two eggs I use the basmante rice I don't know if you can see this here um, I just I went to neighborhood market and I grabbed some some rice and the chicken I used is actually chicken uh, it's just frozen chicken so I don't know how it's gonna turn out I wanted to make an adobo style like chicken but let's take a peek and, and see how it looks so it doesn't look too bad so we'll have to see how it how the how the darn thing turns out you know hopefully uh, hopefully it turns out decent ah that's hot so looks like it's really really juicy so let me just try a little bite of it oh my gosh that's freaking fantastic I made frozen chicken taste like this that's crazy now I know why Jess's friend does it like this so I could imagine fresh chicken this would turn out really good so I think I have it a little salty a little bit salty but um, once it's in the rice I think it'll counter that because the rice isn't too sodium high um, but other than that whoo haha yeah that's good and it's tender Normally that chicken turns out dry. That is tender. And I think it's done. Uh, yeah, it's done. I mean, if it wasn't done, I just ate raw chicken, so, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure it's done. Yeah, let me shut that off. I think we're done. So, now I, all I need to do is, I'm gonna do what Jessa does. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And then you're gonna serve some rice and you put some chicken on it, and we're gonna be good to go. So let me see. I got these bowls from one of my uh, uh, colleagues. He's a goat as well. 
When I say a goat, I mean he's part of the chief's mess. We're all, we we call ourselves goats. So he is a part of the mess. And he got some new so, uh, new uh, bulls, so he gave me the old ones since I don't have anything here. Uh, so that was really nice of him. So let's see. I'm gonna dump this chicken. Let me do it this way. All right, so that is all the chicken right there. Looks good to me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a plate out and then I'm gonna just scoop some chicken onto the plate after I plate the rice. A few moments later. <gasps> Voila! <laughs> we have chicken adobo with fried rice, bacon, onion, garlic, and basmante rice. So all in all, I think my first try at adobo and fried rice with minimal cooking experience. Um, it all tastes pretty good and uh, it's super tender and that bacon, you know, that bacon really just, ooh, it, it adds a, it adds a oomph. So, mmm. That is addicting. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Well, thank you all for watching. Pardon my manners. Like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Um, again, first time cooking uh, all this without Jess uh, to guide me. I took her directions, I modded it a little bit, and uh, turned out really good. All right, y'all, you have a great day. Have a blessed day.